Hello and welcome back to Spacebar 2. In this video, we'll quickly go over the basic flight controls of the game, as well as learn about landing and takeoff. Before we start, you can use C to change the camera to your preference. Holding C will go back to the cockpit view. Pressing Z once will enable the free look camera, enabling you to use your mouse to look around. Press Z again to return to the default camera. For forwards and backwards movements, W and S are used. For lateral movement, A and D are used. Double tapping it will enable you to make a quick dodge move. For going up and down, R and V are used. As with most space games, for rolling, press Q and E. Finally, for pitch and yaw, the game uses mouse follow. Just point the chip to where you want it to go and it will do it. Pressing shift will activate your afterburner. Here it's called turbo. Noted on the bottom right of the flight hood, a bar is slowly going down. This is your turbo charge and it will replenish by itself when the turbo is not used. One easily missed feature is cruise control. Here called lock thrusters. By pressing caps, the thrusters are locked and the forward and backward thrust key can be released. In order to set speed in this mode, the mouse wheel can be used. Note that on the right of the HUD, you can see the bar controlling the speed. Press cap lock again to return to default through a circle control. Another easy to miss feature is drifting. By pressing ALT, we can disable our engines and let our inertia lead us on. This is very useful in combat, but outside of it, it can be used to keep your speed or heading for whatever reason. You can also use it for style points. Another option available to enable a different way to control your ship is by hitting K. This locks your mouse to the middle of the screen, which allows you to control your ships directly. Pressing it again reverts back to mouse follow mode. This feature is called relative mode in the options. Before we start landing, I'd like to give you two quick tips. First is to keep your power to engines. It's a good tip to keep your power to engines when you're just flying around from point to point. This will save you a lot of travel time. To do so, press left arrow twice. To reset and balance your power management, press arrow down. The second tip is about weapons mode. By pressing tab, we can activate our weapons. When weapons are active, the ship only flies half as fast as it would without weapons enabled. Make sure to keep weapons disabled when outside of combat to save time. This can also be used in combat in order to disengage from enemies or to close in on faraway enemies. And before we finally go into landing and take off, you should note that by pressing H, it enables and disables the mouse cursor. This enables you to interact with the UI elements here. This UI is called the Signals interface, but players also call it by Contacts or Comms interface. There is three ways you can go about landing. In order to repair your ship and use station services, such as changing your ship's equipment, it is required for a ship to be landed on a station or construction landing pad. To do so, simply find and approach a landing pad. There's one right here. You press N to enable the landing pad. Press V to descend to touch them. It's very simple. You can land on planets the same way. The second way to deal with landing is by contacting the station or construction you want to land on and send them a docking request. You can do so by using the signal interface on the top right. The station will hail you back and indicate a landing pad for you to land on. This is mostly useful when landing on a complex or confusing structure, which can happen anytime. Note that your ship repairs automatically while landing on a landing pad. There is no repair ship button. Finally, in case you are not needing repairs and don't wish to use station services, you can just hold G to just jump off your ship. This is useful when you are just passing by or completing some objective, such as when doing ground missions. 
taking up is simple, just hold on R for upwards thrust. On the cockpit view, you can also push the mouse up and click on take off. You still have to hold R to get up. In case you are far away from your ship, or just want to have it take off on its own, you can call your ship to you. To do so, press H to enable the cursor, go into the ships list, and click on your ship, and click on call ship. It will take a little while, but the ship will soon come to you. To be able to reach our ship, press G to enable jetpack when you are outside controlling your character. The jetpack controls are very similar to the ship's controls. You can just hold R to go up, press ship to fly faster, fly towards your ship's cockpit and then press F. And you are good to go. This is it for the basic flight tutorial. In the next videos, we'll look into space travel using warp, stargates, basic and advanced combat and more. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Fly angry.